Hey everybody, thought I'd uh, do a little status update, show you where I'm at with the cabin. Um, well, as you can see, it's getting cold. Um, the temperature this morning was about 12 degrees, but luckily I didn't sleep here last night anyway. So let me show you. We got the garage all done. I can get the light to adjust here. There you go, we moved our tents inside. So hopefully that will be a little bit warmer. Um, you can see up there, we've got a couple windows. Hoping to get those in today. And the door we've got in, but we didn't use treated wood, so I gotta redo that. Um, so, yay, the garage is looking good. Need to get a garage door. Um, I got a guy that's gonna get that for me. Um, let's see, what else? <clears throat> we'll take you around over here. Show you where we're at with the house. So there it is behind me. We got kind of a door opening there, the second floor mostly on. And whoa, got a lot of snow to get rid of in here. And let's see. So there we go, there's the second floor. Um one thing I noticed that I did the other day is when I put on the second floor, I forgot to put all the uh, joist hanger nails in. So let's see if I can show you. There's only one right up there at the top. And I was walking around up there thinking I was safe when I wasn't. So luckily nothing happened and I'm okay. But the nice thing is, we got a place to keep some stuff that's out of the snow and show you over here we got all these beams in up there yay those were really heavy we had them put them in when the crane came we just dropped them in and up at the top there's a the, I anchored a bolt in through the slots that I had in the concrete wall there and then uh, went up with some all thread all the way through the beams and then on this side for now anyway, we um, put a little bolt in there through there into the, into the beam and then we covered the beams with some uh, saran wrap type stuff so that they can uh, make it through for a little while because those things are not weatherproof. So I don't want to mess that all up. So what we got, you can see over here, we also got the this beam on the end in and the rest of this wall up so that I can start putting in some uh, oh, I guess they'd be called purlins but really they're the support for the roof so we're about there too I don't have anybody to hold the ladder for me to get up there right now because uh, on the outside it's a little bit uh, shaky um, that's about it. Things are going pretty good. Got a nice view out here. Also got the uh, um, footings in, concrete footings in for the porch that's going to be out back here. So let's see if I can show you a little bit right behind me. Right there is going to be the door to the porch. I'm kind of pretty excited about that someday. <laughs> Not too soon. Um, and I haven't cut the holes yet in the uh, the floor for the uh, crawl space, but uh, we'll get there. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, so my father in law was up here, did a bunch of cleanup work, and when he was up here this last week, he said he saw somebody with a trailer that looked like they were gonna back into the driveway, and the trailer was empty, so they he thought they were coming to steal some stuff. So I bought one of those uh, trail cams that they use for animals. And I'm going to hang it up somewhere, hopefully, where it's not noticeable. And if anybody does anything stupid, I can hopefully catch them. <clears throat> I talked to my insurance company, and they said all my tools will be covered by my homeowner's insurance. But, you know, that's like a $1,000 deductible, so that's not that good. But we'll get there. Oh, yeah, I should show you the, some of the backfill that we did. Or I should say mostly my wife. All the way around the side here, you can't see because it looks, but it goes all the way up almost up to the roof there. So we had to get some of that done because I wanted the walls to get seated well before we grouted and welded everything. So 
I might do that and then I welded all the stuff inside and you can see we got most of the back here and then I guess if I wanted I could jump up on the roof. I'm probably going to be shoveling that off today because I want to get some of the grout in. So that's not very exciting but I'll be doing that and then you can see how much we have left to backfill down there. We're getting there. Still got some uh, sealant to put in too but uh, almost there. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. We're getting closer. Oh, looks like this wheelbarrow's no good anymore. Apparently that happened during some of the backfill process or something. But I'm sure it can be fixed. <coughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm Andy. We'll talk again.